Okay, we're just gonna give you a quick warning before we go in. It's not for the faint-hearted. Some of the things in there might upset some people. Uh, yeah, so um, if you're not feeling up for it, skip that. Good morning from Sapa. Hello from Sapa. This is our second vlog from Sapa. This is the last one from Cat Cat Village. Oh, we love the bird, yeah. It's incredible, you have to check it out. But now we're going to show you around the town itself, Sapa, which is beautiful. And this is the start. How cool. I don't know, you can't really tell, but behind the clouds there are mountains. But it's a bit cloudy today, but you can see some here. See the smaller mountains there. Yeah. But the big mountain, Fanzipan, I think it's called, is up there behind the clouds which you can go up with a cable car, a train in a cable car. But anyway, Sapa, uh, so far what we've seen, we really like, like this lake is beautiful. Yeah. It is early in the morning, so you won't see many people. Yeah, it is, well, it's early-ish. Um, I mean early in the morning, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For us it's early. But we're getting to the centre, so follow us. So you're probably wondering why we are in Sapa. So Sapa is known for a what? Tourist uh, center of the Northwest. And a lot of people come here for hiking, to look at the, what is that, what are they, like a rice balconies? Rice terraces, terraces and yeah. um, they hike to like lots of remote villages and stuff. I think that's what it's known for here. To stay in um, local houses with the locals. Uh, people come here like yeah, to see the mountains, so there's a lot to do around. Yeah. But Sapa itself is very pretty. It is very pretty, yeah. Very touristy though. I don't know if you can see all the restaurants behind us. There's so many hotels, restaurants. It's made for tourism. Yeah, it is. Yeah. In Sapa as well, when we've been, whenever we've been walking around, you can see it's too early now, but you can see those little girls walking around with this, doing puppy eyes and trying to sell you stuff. Yeah. Which is, oh, it's heartbreaking that we can't really buy anything because we've got only backpacks. But some of them are like crazy young, like three year olds. So yeah. Trying, around, trying to sell up, you. Trying to sell you, yeah, like little gifts and stuff. I guess that's for how the families make money. But look at this. This is definitely a tourist center of Sapa. It's cool. It all lights up at night. Uh, the only thing with those restaurants is if you were on holiday, they find the good prices still cheap, yeah? But if you are a backpacker, this is expensive. Yeah. Yeah, with these ones. Though. Yeah, we try to eat, like look at some prices. Sadly, it's a little bit too too much for our budget. We don't want to splash it yet. But there are cheaper shops. You go further in, there are uh, cheaper restaurants. There are quite a few cheaper restaurants. Hi. Hello. 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 No. No, you thank you. Hiking? No, no. 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 no, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow. No. Done. Done. You stay here very busy. Go no. to the village now, busy. Um, Hi, can you want to Long or small? So yeah, you do get like tested a bit, but we feel sorry because they just want to make money. I mean, we could buy the stuff, but again, we only go backpacks. We can't take it all. And I'm just literally this morning locked our stuff into uh, so we can have one small and two big ones instead of two small, two big, so. Oh, you've got a bed market? This was a bed market and you can see people with like the authentic costumes walking around as well but they're usually they're usually tourists as well 
tourists. Yeah, and just having like photo sessions. Oh, there is a wedding going on. Yeah. So we've been pestered so many times now. Yeah, the people who want to take you hiking and sell you things, they. They're quite persistent. Yeah. The guys who offer you motorbikes, they're quite relaxed. You say no, and that's it. And you got like a little limousine. No, no thank you. Oh, look at the beautiful the bride church. and groom. Nice. So, and this is Southern Station. How cool this building is. Yeah, very cool this building. So this is where you get the short train to get to the to the cable car to the cable car so that's the station very cool building and this is like the arena where anything happens in this town so we're heading to into a little shopping area yeah Oh, those ones. You can always buy them back in supper. Huh? Oh, look at those cool hats. Yeah. So it's a little market just full of colourful, colourful dresses, scarves, hats, some food. How cute those outfits are. Oh wait. So many stalls with handicrafts. While they're working on the clothes. Homemade crafts. Scarves. Little kittens. I don't get the little kittens. Slash hotel. Way out of our price range. Uh, yeah. Yes. Now you've got more fish. Uh, so supper is great for eating, shopping, having a massage. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of massage places. Although massage here is more expensive than in Hanoi. general it might be more expensive than yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah we notice it's definitely accommodation is cheaper but like food is more expensive yeah yeah and massage and massage if you're heading down to cat cat all these bikes there's usually a lot of people trying to get you to take a motorbike down and you can get a motorbike back up but it, w it was quite nice to walk to be honest yeah Dan was dreading walking back, but he flew by, it wasn't that bad at all. We stopped in a coffee shop, watch our cat cat vlog uh, to see how it was. It definitely really surprised us. So. Definitely surprised us. Look at this cool building. And if you're going to watch that, you might as well watch subscribe. <laughs> and like. And like. Just like and subscribe. Oh, this must be like a, that must be a market. I don't know. So it's literally a pastry filled with a um, cashew nut. Mm. Warm. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. nut, sorry. Ooh. Spraying. Mm. And you've got some sesame seeds on top. Mm. I like this one. Yeah. It's like puff pastry. 
With a mousse inside. With mousse, chestnut mousse. It's chestnut mousse, sweet. We wonder why they got a bird market. But they got hanging outside the front of the cafe. They got this bird. We don't know why they've got birds hanging outside the front of some shops and some cafes, but it might be a luck thing, I don't know. But we're gonna go get breakfast now, and we're gonna go here. Yeah? Cheap breakfast slash lunch. You got a French baguette with cucumber and tomato. We decided to share one because it's quite big. They're massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've had breakfast slash lunch. That was nice. It was nice. A nice bar on me. Yeah, they're so big in that place. And it's 40, which is £1.30, I think. About. So not crazy expensive. No. Not the cheapest, but not crazy expensive. Overall, we paid like £1.40 for the tea and a baguette. For and breakfast. a baguette. A big yeah. baguette, to be fair. Yeah, though. to share for both of us. Yeah. So. That's really good price. Still cloudy everywhere as we thought. Yeah. We looked at the uh, Fancy Pan cable car train ride. It's very expensive. Crazy expensive. Like but 750 dong. Yeah. So we're going to have to decide whether we're going to do that or not. It, it would probably depends on the clouds because like you see there, cloud, the mountains are in behind the clouds. So yeah. So we could go, but we won't see anything. Exactly, we'll get to the top and won't be able to have any views. That's so, the building I was talking about, by the way. So we're not sure on that yet. No. We're about to head to Saffron Market now, so okay, we're just gonna give you a quick warning before we go in. It's not for the faint-hearted, so uh, some of the things in there might upset some people. Uh, yeah, so, so um, if you're not feeling up for it, skip that part. Yeah, skip this part for a few minutes. Yeah. And then uh, if you are we'll be back out. Keep watching. If you're interested, yeah. yeah. Watch on. I hear anything you can buy a machete or a goggles yeah so it's clothes as far as the eye can see let's check out what's at the back of this market food section do you think oh yeah let's have a look what they got here I don't know what this dried meat is. Do you know what it is? Yeah. What's that? They like their frogs here. That's for sure. Oh god. Jesus Christ. A little bit emotional. I don't know. That's it's a little bit gruesome. Yeah. We watched lady chopping a dog. And there's like, a dog now. And there is a dog. A lot of dogs. Yeah. I'm shocked now. Honestly, um speechless really I didn't think it's gonna be as easy to see people buying dogs yeah 
how do you feel then? It's gruesome. Yeah. yeah but, but I suppose we see cooked up, chopped up like cows and stuff all the time. Yeah, good point. Oh, here are veggies. Oh, yeah, the green comes yeah, down. I can't believe we saw a dog like this being chopped up. It's just. But yeah, some people can have pet cow, pet pigs. I imagine Vietnam used to be very poor. Maybe that's why they're eating here. Uh, one prawn, one prawn just jumped out when she saw me. Prawn? Or yeah, I think I've got it. No, no, prawn. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I've got it on the video. Yeah. So we just saw a lot of fresh produce, a lot of meat, yeah, and um, veggies, fruit. It's quite cool. I imagine like if they sell dog meat, they uh, sell dog meat, I imagine they probably sell it somewhere on the market here, do you think? Mm. Uh, it makes me gag a bit, but again, I'm not judging, I'm not here to judge, I'm here to experience the culture, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I don't think I would it's try it. It's because we're not used to it, I think, yeah. Oh, my stomach is turning now. And we own a dog, that's what we want. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, we're gonna just keep walking, see if we find anything else interesting here. Okay, so it's very dark now. We just came back out. We went back to the hotel. And when we got back to the hotel, we heard this noise. So we followed the noise, it came here. This temple which overshadows the city. Let's have a look around. Anyway, uh, don't you mind not be able to see us? We just went to the temple. That was really cool. Mm. Catch the monks praying. That was kind of like an off chance that it happened again. We so now we're gonna, there. yeah. <laughs> so now we're just gonna head into Safa and show you it a little bit at night because yeah. it looks really cool at night. Welcome to Safa at night time. Sorry for the blurriness in advance. Okay. So uh, I think Sapa, it's you must see at night. At night, at night, it turns to like a different town. Yeah. So if we, if we turn this around now, look how cool. You can see that oh, look, distance. the trees are litten. Can you see? I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, but the reflection in the water of those trees is incredible. Let's show you. You kind of do get the reflection of the trees. So Sapa at night is like uh, Europe at Christmas, everything litten. There's it's a bit of a Christmassy vibe around here. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's so cool. It's such a good vibe. It's so safe as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. It does feel very safe here. Yeah, even now just walking to the monk um, um, temple, we walked to like pitch black streets and it was, yeah, it was fine. fine. Probably in South America, certain places we wouldn't do this, 
but here yeah it just didn't feel like you didn't think twice you just no. went yeah yeah exactly the whole lake is reflecting the whole, whole surrounding around it it's incredible yeah just such a shame gopro or our phones don't pick up but if you like us to show you better stuff buy us a coffee buy us a coffee we will save money let's go down and have a look <laughs> So what they've got a lot of here, uh, we don't really see it in Hanoi that much, is they have these barbecues. And what they do is they give you a big plate or a basket and you basically pick off their table what you want and they'll barbecue it for you. They've got a whole selection of stuff, as we'll show you right now. So they eat a whole frog, they don't just eat the legs. Interesting. Interesting. There's another one. You see they're filling up the plate there. Oh, they've got different frogs. Oh, really? Longer on the sticks. Can you fill up your plate? I don't know what And you can see it's all across the street. Nice. Yeah. I have eggs as well and potatoes. This. So many, and they're delicious. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. Exactly. So you've got so much choice. Oh, so it's up to you. Here. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, when we told you like Safa being beautiful at night. This is it. This is crazy. We're about to show you it now. So this is... Some of them quite busy, even though it's still quite early. Pop center. It is quite busy for such a bit early. So bright, this definitely feels like Christmas, yeah? Of those places as well, got like set menus. Yeah, there are quite a few set menus. And there's the station. What is this keyboard doing? Okay, guys, so we've come to the end of the supper vlog. So now, as you can see, I'll put now we are gonna sit down, chill, have, have a drink. drink. Look at the view. At the skyline music bar. Yeah, have a look at the view over the lake in the temple. Yeah. And chill out for the rest of the evening before we head off tomorrow morning. So, uh, Sapa. Very nice. Absolutely incredible place. Yeah, a lot to do. Shame we're not doing the, um, the cable car and the mountains, but you know, a lot of people stay in the local villages, but instead of this, we picked a cabin in a jungle. <laughs> exactly. That's quite nice. And uh, then we did a bit of a hike to the Kelt Cut village and we've done that village. So, uh, yeah, a lot to do around. Very nice. We liked it, yeah? We liked it and yeah. it's very easy to get here from Hanoi. So, yeah. do a trip from Hanoi, stay a, a couple of nights and that's perfect. Yeah. So, uh, our next vlog will be us staying in our lodge, in our, yes. in our little cabin in the woods. So yeah, in the jungle. In the jungle, <laughs> yeah. that's what they call it. I so, saw so many spiders, so it's a jungle. <laughs> so we'll see you on that one. See you in the jungle. Bye.